talk about this book, Some Smug Slug, and I'm going to read the back to you. I want you to listen very carefully. Such a succulent slug, a self-assured slug, slinks up a suspicious sloping surface. Scoffing at shouts of stop from spectators, the smug slug finally reaches the summit. Is he in for a shocking surprise? So I'm going to read some of the pages. The, I'm going to start at the beginning of the book. I want you to see what you think is going on. It says, one summer Sunday while strolling on soil with its antenna signaling a slug sensed a slope. Do you, do you think something weird is going on with this book? What, and what are you noticing about this book? I'm going to read another one. Slowly the slug started up the steep surface, stringing behind it, scribbles sparkling like silk. Now you just said that it's rhyming. Is this book rhyming? What is a rhyme? What's going on with this book? Um, what do you um, think is going on? At the beginning, I mean at the end, and then at the um, other sentence at the end, it's those two words at the end are rhyming. Mm. So let's think about rhyming. Do you guys know that book, um, um, Cat in the Hat? Mm -hmm. Do you know how it says, the cat and the hat? Now that's rhyming, right? Cat and hat. What part of the words are rhyming? What, the beginning or the end part of the words? Cat and hat. What sounds are the same? So the end. The end. So, but this is not like that. Let's look very carefully what's going on. All right, I'm gonna read this page again. Stop, screamed a sparrow, shattering the silence. What is going on with this? It's not rhyming because it's not rhyme. The ending sounds of the words are not the same. What part of the words are the same? Save him, shrieked a spider scurrying down its strand. What part of the words sound the same? The S, the beginning of the words. Do you see that? Yeah. Do you see that now, Braylon? Here, if I look here, I'm going to skip this page because this page is not so obvious, but this is a better one. Here, this page here, it says, show off, scolded a squirrel, storing nuts for the season. Do you see how a lot of the words start with the same letter? We call this alliteration. It's actually kind of the opposite of rhyming. Rhyming rhymes with the ending of the word, and alliteration rhymes with the beginning sound of the word. So what we're gonna do today is, on your worksheet it says alliterative sentences. We're going to create a sentence that is that has alliteration in it. Um, and there's a little method that, that we can use, and what you're going to use is you're going to use the letter of your, the first letter of, of your name. So put your first letter of your name there. You can choose your first name or your last name, because Yasmin, you're going to have kind of a problem with a Y, right? Okay, so I'm I gave you an example here. Here the ex in the example, they're using the, the letter B. You're going to find nouns, names, verbs, and adjectives that all start with the letter B. Um, so for instance, in, in the nouns, nouns are what? Are they, what, what, what do not, what kind of words are nouns? Things. Things, yes, things, um, think, person, places, things, or ideas, right? So you, here they put bubbles, brother, boy. For names, names are pretty obvious. Yeah. Try and come up with some names that start with your letter. You can use your own name as well, Bobby Baxter Boris. And then there's some verbs, burst, bawling, bragging. What is a verb? Does anybody know what a verb is? What does a verb do in a sentence? Hmm, I kind of gave it away, didn't I? Describing mm, that would be an adjective. An adjective describes a noun. A verb is a word, an action word, that shows that you're doing something. Look here. Burst, bawling, bragging. Those are things that you can do. So those are the verbs. And then adjectives are words that describe words. Broken, big, bratty. All right, so I'm gonna give you a few minutes to, um, to find some words. So before we um, make our own alliterative sentences, um, I wanted to tell you that alliteration is uh, oftentimes used in advertising and in songs. Why do you think that is? Why, why do you think that they might use alliteration in advertising or in songs? So let me take a page out of the book, around a page. 
You know what, this is a nice page here. One summer Sunday while strolling on soil, why, what makes it, what makes this sentence nice with the alliteration? Why is it, what, mm. what do, does it do when you hear that? Uh, one summer Sunday while strolling on soil. That's what, what they're doing. Right, it, it kind of gets your attention going, yeah. right? So a lot of times it's used in, in advertising and, and jingles. Do you, do you know what a jingle is? They're kind of out of style, but a jingle is a little song that goes together with a product that they're trying to sell you so that you remember the song and then you remember the, you, you know that song I sing about Comet, it makes your teeth turn green, remember that song? That's a jingle. All right, um, so now that you've all brainstormed and you all have um, names, nouns, verbs, and adjectives that start with the letter of your choice. I want you to take these and I want you to make sentences. Now, not every word in the sentence is going to start with your letter because you're going to have to use some words that are not, but you're going to try and use as many as you can that start with the letter C. And you have to make a sentence of a about seven words. No less than seven, but you can make a little bit more than seven. Have your sentences, um, practice them because you're going to read them to your to, to the people in the group. All right, so now that we know what alliteration is and you've brainstormed some words and you've made sentences, I like to, uh, we'd all like to hear your sentences. Um, who would like to read first? All right, Crystal, go. Crystal can crack colorful cakes while carrying camel to the cookie shop. <laughs> That's very good. All right, who would like to go next? Jorvis. George scored a grand goal while singing with gold green teeth. Then, when he finished, George gave him a gift. Very nice. Who wants to go next? All right, go, Yasmin. Lala was in love and she's lounging when she saw a lazy lizard on a log. Excellent. Go ahead, sir. All right. Well, that was our little mini lesson on alliteration. High fives all around. Let's go. Thank you.